everyone. Today is day six, and I just weighed myself. And I went from 201 to 193.6 pounds. So I'm down to 7.4 pounds in just six days, and that's amazing. I know with this detox, it says you can lose up to 15 pounds, so I'm already halfway there at the halfway mark. So I'm assuming that you probably just lose like about a pound a day. You know, after maybe the first two days, I think the first two days is when you lose the most. But, you know, that's good. I wanted to let you know that yesterday, or well, last night, it always happens around my, around time to take my third smoothie. I started having cravings, um, bad cravings. It was crazy. I was craving Popeye's chicken, and I heard that they have a $5 box bag, so, you know, I want that. But... And my husband wasn't be, wasn't of no help. He was trying to get me the box, but luckily I, you know, I have the willpower. So I said no, and I told him on my cheat meal, I will have that. Um, another thing I want to talk about, or speaking, actually, speaking of cheat meals, what I do on a cheat day is I only have a cheat meal. I won't have an entire cheat day because for me it will throw off a lot of progress and it will be hard for me to start back up. So I, when I start eating solids again, what I'll do is I'll have my healthy breakfast or my healthy lunch, you know, and then maybe I'll have like an unhealthy dinner, which I actually like to have my cheat meals usually for lunch so that that way dinner I'm not so full and I'm not going to sleep super heavy because I had a really bad cheat meal so that's just a little tip that I wanted to give out I know it's it's hard especially when you're doing good for so many days and then you finally want to go ahead and just indulge on something you know very unhealthy but I for me personally what works for me is a regular you know breakfast lunch and dinner or whatever whichever route I decide to take and then one unhealthy cheat meal it could be the unhealthiest cheat meal, but the next day I'm back at it. Um, like I said before, two years ago I was 25 pounds lighter, so, and I did that with that regimen. It's, it was exercising and eating right Monday through Saturday, and Sunday was my cheat meal, not a day. I didn't make it a whole day. I can't. It's, it's hard to bounce back for me after that. I can't bounce back, so just wanted to let you know about that give maybe a tip or two so as far as putting the aloe vera on my face right now it's not showing much of a difference it's hard to compare but I think that when I finally put up all the pictures together at the 10 day mark you can see the difference that I'm seeing so but even then I'm still going to continue this even after my 10 day detox I want to continue and see exactly how much I can clear my face up you know, before I probably go and jump into a new face acne clearing or acne scar cleaning regimen. Because right now, you know, right now my my bumps for the most part are gone. I have one, two, three. Oh, and a little one right here. But then everything else is just scars. So all like the acne that I had is now gone, and now I'm just left with scars. So sorry, I have allergies. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Sorry. Okay. So I am going to drink my first smoothie in a bit. I'm going to get my workout out of the way because I still have a lot of things to do today. So I will see you guys later. Bye.